from the stack so starts with you guys I'm repairing a braid yes as you know my braids are crotchet braids because when I did my hair it was for the trip that I didn't go on and it was you know I know it, it was going to loosen up sooner or later anyway so now I'm repairing it I'm tightening the braid up here it comes here they come. You see the fingers coming up that let you know it's getting closer to the top. And I think all my hair is even, guys. Because remember I told you guys I cut it? I finally cut it even. You know, I cut it myself. I didn't go to the shop. So, but hey, it's all even. I wish I could find some. I've been seeing a lot of. Well, I've been seeing this one product on um, Instagram that'll help bring your natural curls in. And I think I want to try that, guys. And just run my natural curl in here. You know, I'm going to try that. I had to cut it even. This hair was, like, all over the place, you know? And like I said, you cut it, it'll grow back up thicker. And it did go grow pretty quick because look, because when I cut it, guys, it was I cut it like I said, like right along here. Wait, a little bit more, right along here. So it did grow. So cutting your hair, it will grow, help it grow because you're cutting the split ends off as well. See, but I was cutting it too because I, I wanted to grow back thicker. So now I'm doing the fresh braid. Yeah, that's tight. You want to know? That's real tight. Sound may bust up in the room. <laughs> His favorite thing. tight that is it wasn't this tight when I first did it no it wasn't that tight but now it's tight then I tell y'all he's gonna bust up in here man I heard his voice in the hall that's his hand that's right his hand I told y'all he would be in here meddling meddling with his mom they favorite thing Every time you see him in a video, he messes with somebody. Mm -hmm. See how tight it is? See, it wasn't that tight at first. Now I don't have to worry about it coming down so soon. Makes me want to do some more over <laughs> Because I was swimming yesterday at my brother's house. I'm going to input the picture was took me. That's real tight. Yes, I'm sweating. The fan is not directly on me. That's a braid right there. I don't really braid it all. When I'm taking it down, I like to take it down quick. And then it's going to be, I'm going to take it up. I'm going to take it up and put the crotch of braid on it to lock it in. Yes. So, guys, you're here with me today. I have a video that I actually did crotch of braids. 
Yes. But that video is on. My family page uh, following the motions. Cut up before I started this page, but I wanted to start this page. Because I got it under mark would be respectful. See how tight it is? See, now I want to go ahead and do some... I want to tighten up more. <laughs> you know, once you do that tightening up of one, you see the other ones, you want to go down and do the same. See, look, this one, look, it's not loose, but now I want to go in. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'll just take you guys with me when I decide that I want to. But right now I'm not. And so I have it here. Hmm, I got a rubber band too, I mean. These are my purse. This is one of the old ones, but it's the same. The body of it just made different. This is more of a plastic. A thin plastic, but the blue one is real thick and smoother. Start from the back because, like I said, the part of the braid that's just hanging got to be brought up and caught. didn't have a mirror in front of me to make sure but you'll see it once I get to the top how I did it yes this is it actually actually guys I'm gonna start one I can start from the top now since I did what I want to do with the braid that was hanging now I can start from the top start anywhere from the braid can start from the middle and see, take the, the needle is open, see, it's open, take it under, guys, my camera had died, so I had to plug it up so I could charge, okay, like I was saying, guys, once you pull it through the braid, you take the opening, you keep the needle in the opening of the braid, just push it through and bring the ending of the braid to the needle, put it in, clamp it close, and you're going to pull that through the loop of the crotchet braid, 
pull it on through. I'm gonna lay the cartridge right down so I can show you. I'm pulling the loop down tight to my scab as I'm pulling the braid away. And that's just tightening it up. I hope I did it the right way. No, I did it the wrong way, guys. Cause I'm supposed to lay down. I'm supposed to be going in the other way. Mm-hmm. Let's take this back out. It didn't tighten because I put it in wrong. I supposed to be going from the other side because I don't want the way to lay this way. I want it to lay this way. I went in wrong. So it only takes <sighs> that to pull it out. I want to go in this side because I want the braid to lay this way. So we're going to take the needle from the left and go in right with it. Okay. I'll probably loosen my braid by doing that too. Bring it out far enough that you can close the loop. Take the braid through. Stick the needle on through the opening of the braid. Put the end of the braid in the loop of the needle. Close it. Bring it through the hole of the braid. The loop of the braid. The hole of the braid. And throw that down. Pull it down on the loop. Tighten it with your two fingers and pull the braid outward. And that's going to make it lay this way. You see? That makes it lay down this way. To my right. It's probably to you guys left, but to my right. Because the braid's going this way, and I have a side part. So I needed the braid to lay to my right. So I went in with the needle from the left, underneath the braid. You know, let's see how tight that is. There we go. Let's give you another. Let's just see how quick I can do these braids. It's very quick one. I'm going to put one in my hand. Need it under. Push it in far enough that it goes past the, the clamp of the lock. Bring up the lock. Close it. Go back under the braid. Go through the loop. With the needle, put the braid in the lock. Lock it in. Pull it through the loop of the braid. Pull it down. Keep the two fingers on the loop. Pull out the braid. Pull the braid outward to your right. And that's because that's the side you're going to have it laying on. Okay, let's go back under. Let's go have a braid. Okay, guys. Like I said, let me stick the needle under. I know I'm turning sideways when I stick it under. Okay, grab hold to the loop of the braid. We're gonna close it in, bring it right under the braid, take the needle through the loop of the braid, bring the ending of the braid to the needle, close it in, lock it in, and pull it through the loop. Pull it down with two fingers on the loop and pull the braid outward. To me, I'm pulling it to the right and pulling down on the loop of the braid. See how nice that looks, guys. Yep, you know my hair kind of tight, so. In times I did that braid, it's really not that tight. <laughs> but I could feel the, putting the needle underneath it, okay? Put the loop onto the needle, lock it in, bring it under. Okay, keep the needle in the loop. Put the ending of the braid onto the needle, lock it in, take it through the loop. Take the needle off and pull it down on the loop with two fingers and pull it out with two to my right. Pulling on the braid to my right to tighten it. It's like it's tying a knot. You know, it's like I'm tying a knot. Okay, let's put the needle under the braid with, and leave the needle open. Like I said, leave the needle open when it goes under. Because you're going to put the loop from the braid on. Close the needle. Pull it under. You may have to wiggle a little just to get it under. Not much. Put the ending of the braid onto the needle. 
way, 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 I messed up. Okay, there we go. Put the ending of the braid onto the needle, lock it in, pull it through the loop, take the ending of the braid and pull to my right, pull outward and pull down on the loop. And that's how you tighten it. And have it laying down the way you want it. Guys, let's get the other braid good. My eyes itching. Okay, guys, we're gonna take the needle back under. And you know, a lot of people space the the uh, putting it through the the braid or uh, space it a finger. They lay a finger down and do the spacing, you know, as you're putting the braid in. They space between the braids a finger. Depends on how you want yours in. Because like me, I would space between the fingers as long as I got hair falling over it. Because the braid's going to fall between, you know. But when I get to the part that I am wearing, excuse me, when I get to the part that I am wearing, I normally like them a little closer. I don't leave a finger space. And that, and then again, that's your choice. Oh, it got dark. I told you guys it was raining. Let me plug my um, tripod up. My ring light. Let me put this ring light up, guys. Bear with me. I'm in the dark now. You see how that light just changed? Oh, there it is right here. Right beside me. Because I got my phone plugged in. You see how that just changed? <laughs> it put me in the dark. It's like the light went off. But no, I was using daylight. Turn the ring light on. It's on the back. The switch. Ooh. 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 Let me back up, y'all. Ooh. I was right. It was right in my face. In your face. And we're going to be see me. Here we go. We got the loop of the braid and we're going to close the needle bring it under pull the braid under and through take the needle through push it on through the braid grab the ending of the braid put it on the needle lock it in pull it through the loop of the crotchet braid we're going to pull it down with our two fingers on the loop and pull outward with the opposite hand on the braid see that's how you tighten it to your first braid yeah. Okay. Move a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, come on here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see because I'm trying to bend my head down so that you. See, pull it through, take my two fingers and pull that knot down, pull the braid to the right, and tighten it. Let's go again. I know you can't exactly see to the back of my head, but. Let you guys see as much as possible. Lock that in. Pull it under. Okay, go through the loop. Put that braid inside the needle. Lock it in. Bring it to the loop. Take the needle off. Take your two fingers. Hold that loop down as we pull the braid tight. Oh, it's done, guys. Meeting up with the other braids in the back. How many braids I have left? Let me see. Oh, that's only three. I only got three braids left to put in. 
Because you know the other braids fall over on them. That's one thing about the crotchet style. Oh, see if you don't make sure that needle pulls, it will get stuck. It's raining again, so I just heard it hitting my window. It's supposed to rain all day, they say. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? What happened? Oh, the needle came out. It happens, y'all. It happens. The needle came out. Take it to the hospital. You can drop the needle, the needle, the needle, or you can hold it in your hand. Pull that loop down. Pull the braid. You can pull the braid to the back, to the right, or however you want it. Cause it's gonna, when you put your hand up on each other, the braid's gonna go the way you want it to fall, anyways. So. You know it's how you work with the braids to make it fall the way you want it to okay put the loop on to the needle close it take it under the braid take the needle through the loop push it on through and grab hold to the ending of the braid lock it in put it through the loop of the braid pull the braid on through pull down on a knot with the two fingers and just tighten it and let it go have one more left guys Here's the loop. Put it onto the needle. Close the needle on the loop. Bring it under the braid. Let the wiggle a little. Take the needle. Keep the needle in the loop and pull, push it through to grab hold to the ending of the braid. Lock the braid in. Take the loop. Take the needle off the loop. Cut it's the last one. I'm going to throw it down. Two fingers onto the loop and pull out. On the braid. And see how tight that is? How neat that look compared to this one. Because we went swimming yesterday, guys. So my hair was starting to loosen up, but that braid was real loose, so I had to do that one. Okay, now where's my part? Okay. And then I just grab the hair and work with it with my fingers to get it all to lay down and cover up what it needs to cover. You don't want to add too many braids here, but this, these do get heavy. Yes, definitely when you're swimming. See, it makes me want to do my part over. You know, because it's not loose, but it from being wet. My part don't look straight either. Oh, there it is. <sighs> That's probably what I do over next. Do that part. <laughs> but for right now, guys, I'm just showing you guys how to install crotchet braids for those who miss me installing them. Because, like I said, this is my page. I did my head on my family page, following the Marshalls. Before I started, Margaret be respectful. Something for myself, you know my squad and my space so yes guys that's how you install watch it break mm -hmm. as long as you know how to fresh break some people install them with rubber bands that's something i never tried i would never do i know how to but i would never i would never install them with rubber bands I know a lot of people do their kids hair like that with rubber bands, you know, the quicker way when they want to put those, a lot of people put the rubber bands on and then they, oh my mouth job. A lot of people, put, a lot of people put the rubber bands on and uh, 
Yeah. It makes you tighter. It makes you tighter. It's quicker for the kids. They don't have to sit long. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I'm good. Yes, guys, my respect is for one. How to install crotchet braids. And if you want me to do some more how-to hair tutorials, you know, other crotchet styles, I am. I'm a, I want to do the crotchet, the straight hair. Mm -hmm. The natural it's supposed to be like kinky. The texture of our of my hair. I'ma try that next. So guys, watch out for that video. My respectful squad, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below, guys. Hit that like. Hit that like. Hit that like. I definitely like to style for uh, every day. You know, keep on flat iron wigs and yes, and for like the summer, anyways, guys, and swimming. This is the style I go for. This is my go to style. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to share the video too, guys. Share it on your social media. Here. Mm -hmm. Look, got a suntan. <laughs> Thanks for watching. My respectful squad, respect starts with you. I hurt with a kiss. Peace.